Hey everybody, welcome to our living room and today we're going to talk about deadlift technique as it pertains to some activities of daily living and specifically today we're going to talk about moving furniture, right? So lifting a barbell in the gym, there, I'm sure you've seen or known someone who's pretty strong in the gym but seems kind of like fragile throughout the rest of the world, right? So a deadlift in the gym is very, very predictable but what and, and rehearsed, and that's a very important point. Um, we don't sit here and move our furniture, you know, a hundred times in any given day like we might during a, a you know, workout session. But these principles that we learn in the gym pertain to moving furniture. And so, you know, if I've got a client who needs to be moving stuff around, I might walk them through this explanation. So I want to show you guys, this is our coffee table here. And I generally move it for filming. So I have some area in case I need to lay down or whatever. But if I need to pick it up, how do I pick it up while minimizing the stress that I put on my back? So couple rules. First, you'll notice my knee is right here on the table because I need to maximize leverage. That is the biggest lesson that I can give you about taking your, or you know, having good weight lift, weightlifting technique in general and then transferring that over to the real world. I don't deadlift with the bar way out over my toes because it increases the leverage that the bar has against me. I want to minimize that leverage so that the weight feels lighter rather than heavier. Okay, same principles are here. Now, this table is pretty difficult because it's deep, it's so far away that it can be, um, that, that torque is amplified, right? Because some of it is so far away. There are two major ways that I can pick this up. Um, first one I'll show you since we're talking about leverage, if I just walk to this side and I tip this over, then I've minimized a lot of that leverage and I keep it all right here next to my body and I can pick it up with one arm. Easy to move, right? Um, if for some reason I don't have that luxury, or I'm super yoked and I wanna figure out how to do that a little bit quicker without having to tip it over. Um, what I might do is turn it into a snatch grip RDL, basically. Again, minimize leverage. Knees are right up here. I'm gonna bend over and now my arms are away from my body and I don't like that. I'm gonna just make sure that I have good technique, right? I'm not gonna arch my back like this. I'm gonna kinda round it out, make sure I'm pushing through my heels, not through my toes. At least make sure my heels are in contact with the ground. And then I can pick it up. And I feel that in my legs. And again, I'm minimizing leverage here. So I got a good enough stick on my hands and I can walk this table out of the frame. Hope that makes sense. Um, hope that's useful for you. Same principles apply for moving couches, right? I wanna get really close. Let's see here, I'm just gonna do it. Um, I wanna get really close. If I'm out here, I need to make sure that I pull the couch away so that I can have good footing. And then I wanna get, I wanna like straddle the corner so that I can get most of my weight over or as much of my weight as I can over the couch, right? And that will keep everything, keep my back together and make the couch feel a little bit lighter. So hopefully you can use those lessons next time you're moving, but also hope you don't have to move anymore because that's terrible.